This month's Japanese history focuses on the Meiji Restoration, as we did last time. The Meiji Restoration was a movement to defeat the Tokugawa shogunate and reform the modernization of Japan, which took place at the end of the Edo period. Previously, I explained about the Hokutsu War, the battle between the new government forces and the Naga Oka clan in Naga Oka. This time, I will explain the Aizu War, which took place at about the same time. As a result of negotiations between Takamori Saigo and Keishu Katsu, the Battle of Edo was averted on March 11, 1868, and Edo Castle was opened bloodlessly. The Edo Shogunate fell. The Aizu feudal lord, Katamori Matsudairo, had shown relevance to the new government, as had Yoshinobu Tokugawa. However, when he returned to Aizu, the Aizu clan was inclined to fight the new government forces. Katamori also served as the guardian of Kyoto and was in charge of the security of Kyoto. After the Forbidden Gate incident, the Shinsengumi under his command captured and killed the Chashu clan members who were hiding in Kyoto. Because of this, there was a strong hatred for Katamori within the new government, and they were moving to make him take all the responsibility that they had intended to have Yoshinobu take. As a sign of relevance for the Aizu clan, the new government offered conditions that the Aizu clan could not accept, including the beheading of its lord, Katamori, the opening of its castle, and the confiscation of its land. The Aizu clan decided to go to war, and other clans in the Tohoku region that were sympathetic to the Aizu clan also confronted the new government forces. The old shogunate forces attacked and occupied the thinly defended Shirakawa castle on June 10, 1868. The old shogunate forces, led by the Aizu clan's chief vassal Tano Mosaigo, had about 2,000 men in Shirakawa castle. The new government forces, on the other hand, attacked Shirakawa castle with an overwhelmingly small number of 700. On June 20, Masaharu Jinchi, the chief of staff of the new government forces, cleverly used decoys to lure the old shogunate forces out of the castle and quickly captured the thinly defended Shirakawa castle. In the Battle of Shirakawa Castle, the old shogunate forces suffered nearly 700 casualties and retreated. On June 25, the old shogunate army attempted to retake Shirakawa Castle with 2,000 troops. However, the old shogunate forces, equipped with only old-fashioned heavy equipment, struggled. Even after a month, they were unable to capture Shirakawa Castle, which was defended by the outnumbered new government forces. In the meantime, Tosa clan soldiers led by Itagaki, who had been fighting in the northern Kanda region, joined the army, and by July, the old shogunate forces gave up Shirakawa Castle and retreated. With the outnumbered old shogunate forces retreating and the new shogunate forces gaining Shirakawa Castle, where they could attack Aizu and Sendai, the outcome of the battle between the new shogunate and the old shogunate forces was almost decided. Among the new government forces, Masujiro Omura argued that they should attack the Sendai clan first, isolate the Aizu clan, and then attack Aizu. On the contrary, Iagaki argued that if the Aizu clan was destroyed first, the other Tohoku clans would surrender and the Aizu should be attacked first. This decision by Iagaki was accurate, and the Aizu clan was planning to procure funds and weapons in exchange for ceding Hokkaido to Prasine. If the invasion of Aizu had been delayed, Hokkaido would have become Prasine territory and the map of Japan might have changed drastically. After dropping the Hamatsu castle on July 29, the new government forces overwhelmed the Aizu soldiers at the Battle of Banari Pass, and were able to cross the border in a single day on August 21. As the new government forces closed in on the castle, the Aizu clan's samurai were holed up in Wakamatsu Castle. It is said that many of the women and girls in the families of the Aizu samurai were slowed down in battle, captured by enemy forces, and committed suicide, choosing death over dishonoring the family name. The tragedy of the 21 members of the family of the retainer Tano Mosaigo who committed suicide is very famous. Incidentally, when the new government forces were approaching the castle, the retainer Tano Mosaigo said that the feudal lord Yohomatsu Daira should commit seppuku and we should surrender. This enraged the Aizu samurai, and Yorimo, feeling threatened, fled Aizu. Family tragedy struck after this. 
Also, the Bayako type, a unit of boys about 18 years old, thought that the castle had fallen due to the fire when the new government forces invaded, and decided to charge towards the castle. However, rather than being grabbed by the enemy and humiliated, nearly 20 boys committed seppuku and died on the spot in order to clarify the true nature of the samurai. On October 8, the new government forces began to attack Wakamatsu Castle. On the Izu side, 5,000 people, including elderly people and women, stayed in the castle and withstood the attack of the new government forces. While the Izu clan was in siege, the other clans in Dohoku surrendered one after another. Isolated, the Izu clan endured the siege for nearly a month. The castle collapsed into tatters under the bombardment of the new government forces, and the Izu forces suffered nearly 2,500 casualties. Keisuke Tagaki recommended surrender, and on November 6, the Izu clan surrendered. Iagaki allowed Katamori Matsudaira to be treated in a manner that protected his face as the lord of the domain, and impressed the Izu clansmen who thought he would treat the lord as a criminal. The Izu clan exploited the farmers and townspeople under its control, and the people were indifferent to the war against the new government forces. Moreover, it seems that some of them cooperated with the new government forces. The Izu clan's defeat was due in part to the samurai's sense of privilege and the old ways of thinking. The upper echelons of the Izu clan were supported by old retainers, and there were no talented men from the lower ranks of the samurai class like Takamori Saigo and Tashimi Kyokubo, who had risen to power through their talent. They also lacked the knowledge to adopt the latest weapons, and were unable to stand up to the new government forces, fighting with equipment that resembled that of the Warring States period. Thus ended the Aizu War, and the victory in the Boshin War went almost entirely to the new government forces. The Shinsengamis Tashiso Hijikata, the Shogunates Takuki Inomoto, and others who remained resistant to the end hold up in Hakodate and Hokkaido to show their last stand. I'll talk about this in the next commentary. If you find this interesting, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button.